With that down out of the way, let's move on to our second main topic today. And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Tony Texan, who writes, Hey, John, love the show. Thank you so much, Tony. So I heard that some people are canceling their Disney Plus subscriptions after The Mandalorian has ended. Do you think that this will affect Disney Plus in any way? Thanks and hope you answer. Well, Tony, we are answering your question here. So here we go. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, first of all, look, Mandalorian was fantastic. We all know that a whole lot of people signed up for Disney Plus right off the bat because they wanted to be there for when the Mandalorian dropped on opening day of Disney Plus. When Disney Plus goes live, they wanted to be there. I wanted to be there. You wanted to be there. All that kind of stuff. Now, Disney launched with a lot of stuff in their library. And Disney Plus also launched with a lot of stuff... Um, a lot of other original things, but no big marquee thing. Like they launched with this uh, Kristen Bell show. They launched with the Jeff Goldblum show, which is really good. And they launched with a few other things, but their one big marquee thing that they launched with was Mandalorian. So it really shouldn't catch any of us by terrible surprise to find out that once the Mandalorian ended, a few people started canceling their Disney Plus subscription because there's nothing there right now. Like, yeah, there's the library, but there's nothing there really that they are particularly excited about that they want to see right now and, and, and all this kind of stuff. So this is from a website called, uh, this is a Disney fan site called Inside the Magic. Uh, they, they cover a lot of stuff on Disney. And, you know, they were kind of quoting, like, just going through and pointing to a lot of tweets going out saying, time to cancel Disney Plus, Mando's over, people doing polls about them being over. Uh, you know, uh, okay, so now I need to subscribe to Disney Plus to binge all of Mandalorian and then cancel, asking for a very broke fan of mine, me. So, yeah, we started seeing all over social media a, a bunch of people claiming that they are they're canceling their subscriptions to Disney Plus because Mandalorian is now done. And a lot of them in, uh, indicating that, you know, once Falcon and Winter Soldier comes or once a, a few other things like that start to hit, then they will probably once again sign up for the service. Is this a big phenomenon? Is this a big problem for Disney Plus? Is this a big issue? Are people leaving Disney Plus in waves of massive people and tomorrow the poor mouse house is going to be broke and have no money left. Is that what's happening here? I would suggest no. Look, we all knew that there were going to be some people once the Mandalorian was done and we got no other marquee shows. We all knew there were going to be some people that would then depart the service. We all knew that. It's not a surprise. This isn't catching us off guard. This isn't anything new. This isn't anything that was unexpected. Of course it would be. The question was, though, would it be a massive amount of people that would decide to take their business elsewhere and time to get out of Dodge and there's nothing for us to watch Disney Plus for? And, and I want to suggest this. As of right now, the reality is it's only anecdotal that we're seeing people leaving. Like it's a, it's a few people on Twitter saying they're doing that. But out of the 10 plus million people who are subscribed to Disney Plus, are like 10% of them leaving or like a million people unsubscribing? I got to suggest at this point, I don't see any evidence suggesting that. Are there people leaving? Yes. I mean, that that's clear. You can't deny that. Obviously, there are people who are unsubscribing because Mandalorian's done. But is it a significant number? Is it a significant number? Is it a number that will actually cause a bump in the road for Disney Plus? W will it be like 5%? Is it 500,000 people? And at this point, well, I can't say definitively that's not the case because I don't see the official numbers, but I don't see any evidence right now to suggest that it's that big. Some people leaving? Yes. But I'm sure some people unsubscribed from Netflix when Stranger Things Season 3 was done. I'm sure there are some places who unsubscribed from Amazon Prime once they finished watching Marvelous Mrs. Maisel at the end of Season 3. Or when they finished watching the end of Season 4 of The Expanse. or whatever. I'm sure there are some people who once they get their main fix, they then go on hiatus until their next main fix comes along. And with Disney+, Plus. That's probably going to be Falcon and Winter Soldier, some other MCU things, or maybe when Obi-Wan starts up again. But the point is, I don't think it's a massive number. 
I don't think at this point there's any reason for us to believe that it's some huge number that's going to actually cause Disney Plus any problems. And by the way, like I was saying that you and I, we all knew some people were going to unsubscribe when, when Ban Laurie was done. Guess who else knew it? Disney knew it. Disney knew that when they stopped, and, and by the way, I, I didn't point this out, but maybe I should. I just want like speaking speaking of Mandalorian, this is the way, my friends. Um, so I just show that off for a second. But Disney knew it too. They knew they were going to come out with a bang with Mandalorian, get a whole ton of people in. When Mandalorian was done and they didn't have any other big marquee things quite yet, most people would hang around. Some people will fall off until the next big show comes. And I don't think they're surprised by it. I don't think it's going to cause them any problems or stress. And I think they're perfectly okay. So is this going to cause Disney Plus any problems? I really don't think so. Question is, guys, what do you think? Do you know somebody who unsubscribed from Disney Plus once Mandalorian was done? Are you somebody who unsubscribed when Mandalorian was done? Do you think it's going to be a big problem for Disney? I personally don't, but maybe you do. Jump down to the comments section below, guys, and let me know your thoughts. All right. 